Hey guys, Ben K Gaming here, welcoming you back to Let's Play More SpongeBob SquarePants Movie The Video Game. It is a gloomy day here in Boston, overcast skies, it's been raining all day, so what better to do than to go ahead and upload a new episode of SpongeBob SquarePants Movie The Video Game. This episode is dedicated to my dear grandmother, Mildred Conrad, who passed away this past Saturday, October 10th. Uh, Grandma, I love you. I will never forget the memories that I had with you and my sister, too. Um, so this episode is dedicated in your memory. Anyways, on with the episode. So, in the last episode, we started a little... We started doing, um... We started, uh... Welcome to Planktopolis, Minions. And in this episode, we're going to be continuing this level. Now, let's hope I don't get a disc read error here, because that would certainly suck if I did, if I waited too long with that intro and got a disc read error. Hey, I actually didn't get a disc read error. Look at that. Anyways. So. Yes. Let's get hit already. Let's, let's just fail in every way possible. Oh, yeah. I forgot there's two poppers in here, so... Basically, I think you have to deflect 90% of the shots back for it to for it to actually kill the enemy. But there we go. So I went ahead and took out those poppers. So in this room, you have... Actually, you know what? I'm not even going to bother because I know with my luck, I'm going to hit the freaking... I'm going to hit the spikes and I'm going to die. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the sponge bowl... Go ahead and hit all these switches. That's the first thing you have to do. That before the switches go, or before the spikes come up, there we go, that'll make those spikes go down. But, now you have an electric current to deal with. Oh, and by the way, when you, uh, clear the, when you clear, when you, uh, hit all the buttons, the spikes disappear. So, just thought I'd point that out. Anyways, so what you have to do here, you have to do a wall jump and race against the electric currents. And this is no easy task. I mean, well, I made it look easy, but... Yeah, like I said, I never got this far as a kid. So anyways, for this button here, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Sonic Wave guitar. Yeah, thanks, Mindy. After I just finished saying that you can only hit it using the Sonic Wave guitar. <sighs> anyways, we've got a popper here. And we'll go ahead and get hit by the frickin' projectiles. Wow. And I'm gonna die, probably. But anyways, go ahead and hit this button here. Oh yeah, if you die in this area, I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say it is very unforgiving if you die in this area. So, try not to die. Ah, uh, yeah, see, if, if you, it's very easy also to miss the jumps there, so, yeah. And I'm, like I said, I'm, you're probably going to see quite a bit of failure here, so... Go ahead and get up here. Oh, no, 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 crap, girl! Oh, phew, that was close. That was close. I hope that popper doesn't respawn. Okay. Fortunately, the popper does not respond. But, if you miss, you have to hit the button again with the Sonic Wave guitar. And like I said, very unforgiving. And I am not good at making wall jumps on moving platforms. So, do not... So, expect quite a bit of failure here. Ah, so he keeps going high. He keeps going up high, and I don't want him to jump high. I want, I want low. I'm not exactly sure how you do a low wall jump. Don't go into the electric current now. Run like the wind. There we go. All right, I'll just I'll just cut to my successful attempt at this, and I'll meet you guys back. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god. Okay, phew. That was close. I thought for sure I was gonna fall there. Anyways, go ahead and hit this switch here, which will activate these steam vents. Okay, now we're over here. So now what you need to do is hit Y and detonate the glove here because this will cause 
this will open up this area. Now! Okay, for a second the game glitched there, but anyways. So what you have to do here, this time, the electric current does not stop. So you have to get up here, which, of course, I have so much trouble with the, uh... Of course, I have so much trouble with the, um... With the, f with the first with the first part of this level, and yet I have absolutely no trouble there. Thanks, game! Anyways, use the Sonic Wave guitar to hit this button over here. And is there anything over there? No, just mainly this point. It's okay. I thought there was something else over there, but apparently there's not. Okay, so now we can come over here. And you have a Merv to deal with. So go ahead and miss entirely. Okay, I was gonna say, there is a checkpoint here, so if you do die... Hit you with the... I guess he's not gonna fire at me, so I'll just use the sponge bowl. Or you know what else I can do? I almost forgot, I can just use the Sonic Wave guitar to take you out. There we go. Yeah, luckily there is a checkpoint, so if you hear if you... So if you do die, there is a checkpoint. I was just saying it's unforgiving before, because if you die before you get to the top of that, that electric current platform, they start you all the way back in the beginning, like, the be the bottom of this level. The good news is Merv does not respawn. So go ahead and hit this button here with the Sonic Wave guitar. And you've got these two platforms will come down, and now, collect your manliness points. I don't remember seeing that before. There's a- I agree, Spongebob, there's a checkpoint here. And now, we have this. Springboards conveyor belts, and electric currents. Yeah! And this part of the level is also quite unforgiving, as you can see. They have electric currents, they have the nerve to put electric currents on the springboards. Yeah! So, yeah, so you basically... You basically want... You, so you basically have to dodge the electric currents, and I die. Yeah, th yeah, you have to use the sponge bowl. You have to use the sponge bowl to to get this. So to get these currents. I mean, you could use the Sonic Wave guitar, but you know, it's probably it's probably better. It's probably easier to use the sponge bowl than the uh, Sonic Wave guitar. Cause oh yeah, and also another thing, when you use the sponge bowl, it also pushes you forward. So, keep that in mind as well, and try to do this with- Oh, no, 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 Ah, uh, I'm gonna die. Yeah, I might as well just kill myself. I'll just cut to my successful attempt. Okay, we made it past the point of failure. So now, as I was saying, the next thing you will have to deal with is the game lagging, for one thing. But, these two plankton statues. What's going to happen is the eye will open, and it will launch a laser beam. That's not... Yeah, you know, it's not gonna work. Come on, come on. Okay, phew. Yeah, because basically what will happen is these eyes will open, and, um... And they will, dis and they will shoot a uh, laser beam onto the platform that you're standing on. So, what you gotta do, in essence, is... I recommend using the Macho... This is why I recommend having the Macho Sonic Wave guitar for this, because... Because you can home in on the Plankton statues. Yes, Spongebob, I totally agree. But, um, yeah, you can... Get hit by Merv that I couldn't possibly see, but at least we got a checkpoint. So, let's go ahead and kill the Mervs. Let's kill these Mervs first, so I don't die, like I've been doing this, like I've been, I actually haven't been playing too poorly, believe it or not, but, um, we'll go ahead and get our manliness points here. Oh, I also forgot to mention, uh, back in, uh, the, back in the previous episode, Sandy's cameo, yeah, Sandy makes a cameo appearance in this, uh, in this level, but, um, yeah, I forgot to mention, basically, well, if you watch the last episode, you'll see it, I mean, she's, she's pretty much... You can't miss her, basically. Alright, so now, go ahead and take you out. 
get our manliness points racked up, and then over here, you will notice another point at port ahead. We now have the more bounce please task open to play. And we're about 11 minutes into the video, so I think we can go ahead and do this challenge. So to do this, you need to be playing as Patrick. So we'll switch to Patrick here. Get on over here. And now, the platform will sink. And we now have the springboards that appear out of the lava. And what I like to do is uh, I usually don't go for all of the manliness points. Yes, I realize this is a good way to grind manliness points. But at this point, I mean, the good news is, unlike the treasure chest, you don't need all the manliness points to get the to get the uh, good ending for this game, or the real ending for this game. So, I'm actually going to say screw the manliness points, even though I normally wouldn't say that. But, uh, anyways, let's go ahead and get over to this platform. Bounce over here. Get you. Um, okay, where was the springboard? Hammer time! Okay, well, the springboard should have spawned, but I don't know why it didn't. But I'll meet you guys back there. Here, okay. I guess you do need some. I guess you do need some of the manliness points to make that platform appear. So, but there we go. There's our goofy goober token. We now have 61 goofy goober tokens. So we'll go ahead and warp back here, and we'll switch back to SpongeBob now that we have that challenge out of the way. And of course, since I died, all the Mervs respawn, respawn. So I'm gonna have to kill them. But kill you. Right back at ya. Right back at ya. Is it funny that as a kid I thought when and I'm getting another call from the debt collectors again. These these debt collectors, I mean, they've been calling for the wrong person for years. I just don't understand why they do that. Okay. So now in here, this is the second part of Planktopolis. You're basically defenseless against the spinner here, so your only option is... I'm gonna die here, aren't I? Because I was, I was too... I was too slow. Yeah, I was too slow. There's Patrick swinging up there. Yep. Yep, I was too slow. I wasn't going fast enough. But basically, there's a spawner there. I didn't get up high here. Yeah, you basically have you basically have no room for error here. So, it's nuts. So I need to get higher up. There we go. That should be high enough to clear the spikes. There's Patrick swinging like an idiot, and there we go. Okay, go ahead and destroy the spawner here, and now. We're greeted with a popper here, and a merv, I forgot to mention. So go ahead and kill you. Oh yeah, I forgot there's another spawner in here, so... But you gotta kill the merv first. Anyways, in this room, I recommend uh, taking out this popper here. So I'm just gonna go for it. I mean, yes, I realize you should probably kill the Merv. Oh, right, there's a turret in here, too. Jeez. Alright, yeah, you, you, just gotta, you just gotta make a run for it, basically. Yeah, I know, run's what you do when a plan fails, but there is no other plan. <laughs> basically, I just wanna get one more challenge done, and then we'll, uh... 
Jesus. Anyways, what I recommend doing here is, uh... Why is my timing so off? There we go. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to kill this Merv. Then I'm going to use the Sonic Wave guitar to... Oh, no, that's not going to work. Try that again. So I'm going to take Merv out again. So we're gonna take this spawner out. Jeez, I'm playing really poorly. Alright, I'm just gonna cut to the successful attempt. Okay, after enough failure, you can see over here that there is a button for us to press. Hitting this will cause these platforms to appear, and this, my friends, is the final Sponge Bowl challenge in the entire game. Yeah, this is the last Sponge Bowl challenge in the game. So what we're gonna do, this episode may end up being a little longer, so I do apologize if you guys don't like long episodes. But anyways, we have steam here. Vents won't harm you in Spongeball mode, but they can push you around. Anyways, oh my god, I almost died there. Well, you know, I probably should have killed myself because I, I wasn't going to make it with that, with that there. But basically, yeah. But basically, this is, this is what... This is an interesting mechanic in the Spongeball levels. Um, oh my god, no, why is the control stick so sensitive? Alright, so get on the on the propeller here. I'm not timing that right. Not sure how you're supposed to time that. Get on this one. Oh, you know what? I mean, why is it? Why is the control so sensitive? Why am I not making that? Okay, I see what you're supposed to do, though. The the uh, manliness point is the in, is the indi is your indication that it's safe to. Why is this control so sensitive? Jeez, I'm moving all. O I cannot stop moving. Okay, there we go. Jeez, I don't know why I that, I don't know why that was so difficult for me, but anyways. Here you've got another pro propeller, or old mill as I used to call it. There we go. I'm just going to take it slow here. So now you just want to go through the steam here, or the vents. I could make it. Yeah, there are no checkpoints here, so if you fail, you have to start all over. So I'll just meet you guys back there. Alright, there we go. Anyways. So now here, you've got some more steam vents. Oh god, oh god. That to go away. Wait for this one to come back on. Wow, I'm having a lot of audio issues. Oh no, I missed the treasure chest. Crap. Now nope, nah, there's no way to go back for it, so I'm screwed out of that treasure chest for now. But that's okay, because we can get the treasure chest next episode. Ah! God, the control is so unwieldy. I'll meet you guys back. Oh, hold on. Where are you at, son? Somehow I survived that. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I survived that. I can't believe I actually survived that. That was cool. Oh god, make it, make it, make it. Oh, thank god. Wait for this to come back up. Ah, I missed the treasure chest again. 
Uh, I just want to finish the level though, so... No! Come on! No, no, no! Oh! God, it's so disorienting! No, oh, God, the control! No, God, why does he keep moving? Stop moving! Why does he keep moving? Okay, oh, no, 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 what? I did not even touch that! Go, go, go! Holy shit! Holy shit, no, no, no. Alright. Holy crap, I did it! Oh my god, you have no idea how relieved I am to have done that level. I don't care about the treasure chest, I'll go back for it. Holy mother of God, I've been recording for 36 minutes. You have no freaking idea how many tries that took me. You have no idea. Anyways, let's go ahead and get back over here. Get past the Merv. We'll come over here. Okay. Plankton's Riddle. Only two of these buttons will lead you to safely. Beware of pressing the wrong buttons. Boing. Basically, they give the answer away. Wherever you see the green weights, these are the buttons that you want to press. The ones that have the red weight, red weights are the wrong buttons. So we'll hit these two buttons. There we go. We did it. Yeah, they make it pretty obvious, actually. But, and wall jump... Yeah, it's really hard to make the wall jumps here, because he keeps going to the sides. Ow. Why does he keep going to the side? Well, you know what? Ow. Why does he keep going to the side? I, I don't understand why he's doing that. Stop going to the s Why does he keep going to the side? Oh, it's because the camera angle keeps changing. Oh, you know what? I'm an idiot. I just have to hit A. I don't even have to touch the control stick. Why, do I'm why am I even bothering with the control stick? Uh, anyways. It's gonna come down, there we go. Alright, so we'll wall jump across here. Kill you. Kill you. Okay, so now, use our sponge bowl, and it should create... I wonder if you can hit these... Okay, you can hit that one, so that should mean you can hit that one, too. Yep, there we go. Go ahead and wall jump our way up this. Now, there is a treasure chest that, we're go that I'm gonna go for, 
Well, not not right now I'm not going to go for it because I've had so much epic failure and I really don't want to do all this over again. But we'll go ahead and blow up this. And now... Because there is a treasure chest down there, but you know what? For the time being, I'm going to go ahead and say screw it. Because what, what this will do is this will bring you down here where you have three mervs. Go ahead and take these three Mervs out. Ow. What did I even get hit by? There we go. So we'll take out the Mervs. And I'm stuck. I'm stuck! There's no way out of this, is there? Yeah, oh, and yeah, if you die, you have to kill the Mervs all over again. Okay, we finally made it. Now, get these Krabby Patties, because apparently I need them. And you know what we're going to do right now? We're going to upgrade SpongeBob's health, because I apparently need it. Alright, anyways. Now we can go up here. And what we need to do here is he's, he's going to electrify these conveyor belts. And what we need to do is when the eye opens... Use the Sonic Wave guitar and hit him. Avoid that. Hit the, hit the eye. I believe you have to do this three times. There's that one. Two more time here. Some Sonic Wave guitar. We'll take him out. You're too late, SpongeBob. King Neptune is already at the Krusty Krab, too. He's all set to fry crabs, and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> we'll just see about that. I'd love to stay and chat, but I've got a show to catch. Plan C, I love you. You won't get away with this, Plankton! Okay, there is our 60-second Goofy Goober token. I apologize for the rage, but holy crap, that, or a 63rd Goofy Goober token. Alright, so that brings us to, this gives you a little preview of the next mission, Nut Drive of the Knucklehead McSpazitron, but we are not going to be doing this yet because, like I said, there's two treasure chests we missed. You're almost home, guys. All you have to do now is make it to the Krusty Krab. You'll have to go as fast as you can to avoid the falling debris. Yes, but we're not going to be doing that yet, because in the next episode, we're going to be tackling the the last two... Spongebob, you've got enough Goofy Goober tokens for me to bring back the paddy wagon. I do? Oh, that's great. That is great, but we're not going to be doing this yet, because we still have some treasure chests to collect. Guys, you're almost done. The thanks for all your help, Mindy. 
Oop, didn't mean to skip that. Yes, thanks for helping us. Don't thank me yet. You'll have to hurry or the road will be blocked. Go as fast as you can and try to get past the falling debris. If the road gets blocked, you'll have to try again. Let's not do that, because, like I said, even though we've completed Planktopolis, we still need to get the treasure chests. So, next time on SpongeBob SquarePants Movie, the video game, we will be getting said treasure chests, and then we will move on to Drive of the Knucklehead McSpazitron. Anyways, take care, guys. See you then. Bye-bye.